Hi guys, today I decided to do a video on the 10 steps to get a pretty powerful makeup look by Bobbi Brown. I got a book a while ago when I went to her office to visit her. Um, it was the best time of my life. If you don't know about that, I'll put a link down below to my blog and then you can read a little bit more about that. She gave me a book and it was a makeup manual and in the back it had 10 steps of how to get pretty powerful makeup. So I decided to make a video inspired by Bobbi Brown. And most of the products I used are Bobbi Brown. And I just wanted to let you guys know that this is not sponsored. They're my own products. I'm just obsessed with Bobbi Brown. She's my favorite makeup artist, if you didn't know that. And I love her products. And I just thought, if I'm going to make a Bobbi Brown video, might as well try to use all my Bobbi Brown products. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. And keep watching. Bye. Okay, to start with, I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown eye cream right here, and it's a sample that I got a while ago with one of the foundations that I bought, and I really like this uh, eye cream. I think it's really moisturizing, but you can also wear it under your corrector and concealer, which I like. Make sure to be gentle around your eyes so you don't get premature wrinkles. For step number two, I'm going to be taking the corrector from Bobbi Brown, and the one I'm using right now, it's a little darker than the one I should be using so I didn't think it covered my dark circles as much as it should but just make sure that when you buy a corrector you get your perfect match or your perfect shade <laughs> I like to take a flat brush and I put it right under my lash line as close as I can and then I put it in my inner corner too to get those blue darkness hues away from my eyes I don't know what to call that <laughs> sorry for my concealer, I will be taking my Glamour Flush from Hard Candy, and I bought this at Walmart. I really like it. I feel like it really covers. I think it could be a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using mine in Fair. I think it's the lightest shade too. And I like to take a fluffy brush and just, after dotting my concealer around my face, I just blend that out. For step number three, I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown Moisture Rich Foundation. As you can see, I love this foundation. I like to dot it around my face, and if you guys wanted to know, I'm using the color Warm Ivory, number one. I like to just dot it around my face, like so. <laughs> I don't like to put a lot on my face because I still want my freckles to come through, especially in the summer. And then I take a flat brush, that's one from Eco Tools. I'm pretty sure you can get this on Walmart. And I just like to go in a down motion. I feel like if you go up, your little hairs or peach fuzz is gonna show a little more and then your foundation won't, won't be smooth. So just make sure you're, if you're using a flat brush that you're going down. I know this is an old method, but I really like to use this because I feel like it covers all my little acne and scars that I have, but at the same time it gives me really good coverage. And then I like to take a makeup sponge and just dab it around my face to make sure I pick up any excess foundation that I have. Blend, blend, blend. Now after foundation, we're going to be moving on to powders, and this includes any type of powder that you'll be using. So for here, I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Matte Found- nope, not foundation, powder, and I'm going to use a fluffy brush and just set my concealer with that. I like to use the Real Techniques. I'm pretty sure that's a contour brush, not a concealer slash powder brush, but I think it works. And then I take a fluffier brush and I use that to set my foundation. Now I'm going to take a bronzer. I'm using a matte bronzer and this is the NYC and Sunny. And I'm just going to put it around my cheeks, my forehead, under my jaw, and some of my nose. I hope you guys really like this makeup look. Now for step number five, I'm going to be, I have two options right here. I have a Bobbi Brown option and then I have an e.l.f. 
you, you want to use a blush that's going to bring out your skin tone. So when I got my blush, they told me to use like a pale pink with a blue hue in it. So that's what I have right here. And I think the e.l.f. is a perfect dupe for the Bobbi Brown one. Except the Bobbi Brown one that I have is in cream and this one's in powder, but I love both of them. Now for step number six, I'm going to be taking my NARS lipstick. And the name of this is Recuging, something like that. Uh, I got this for from Sephora one time for my birthday. Just make sure to use a lipstick that matches your natural lip color. Now, moving on to brows, I will be using my trusty Lorac concealer. Just kidding, I'm messing up. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my brow kit, and then I'm going to be using the lighter shade all throughout my brows. I didn't want to use the darker shade because I didn't want my brush to be too harsh. Since this makeup look is more natural looking and angelic, I would say. <laughs> Silly me. Now, for my primer, I use the Urban Decay Primer and I put it on off camera. And then I'm taking my CoverGirl French Vanilla Eyeshadow and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. For this, I'm using a fluffy Sephora brush that I've had. Make sure you use a eyeshadow that's going to be lighter than your skin tone. Now moving on to my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I love this palette. Also I was singing. I'm taking the eyeshadow brush that it comes with and I will be taking the shade Sunny. It's not Sunny, it's Stone. I was wrong. It's a dark... I would say it's a dark brown gray it's matte too I don't want to be using any shimmer shimmery eyeshadows right now and this is just gonna create a little more depth in your eyelid and I keep wondering you want to make sure you put as much as you think you want on your eyelid and here, I just wanted to show you guys a little backstage clip behind the scenes, I guess. <laughs> Look at that tripod. Yeah, professional. <laughs> For step number nine, we're going to be doing eyeliner. Right here, I'm using my Sephora Waterproof in matte black. I love this eyeliner, you guys. I know throughout this video, I keep saying that I love everything, but I really do. And this is a makeup look that I use a lot, so most of the products that I'm using right here are very trustworthy. They're my trusties. You want to make sure you get close to your lash line. And then I tried to do a little wing, but then I was like, no, because in the book, Bobby Brown doesn't do a wing, so I was like, I want to keep it like the book. And then I'm going to be using my Cocoa Berry eyeshadow from the palette. And I'm just going to put that on my bottom lash line. I didn't want to use the eyeliner because then that would be too harsh. And then I'm going to use that on top of the black eyeline eyeliner. Bleh. And then I'm going to use that on top of the black eyeliner that, that I had. Final step. This is my favorite mascara. I think mascara makes such a big difference when you do your eye makeup. I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. I was really scared I was going to poke my eyeballs with that. After curling my lashes, I'm going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara and I'm just going to coat my eyelashes several times. You want to make sure your eyelashes are on fleek. Now for this look, you can use this for a job interview, for school, for an everyday makeup look. I think it's really natural and simple, but it still brings out the best, best features of your face. I really enjoyed filming for you guys this video because it's something that I do on an everyday basis. I think it's very natural and very classy looking. I like it. 
Now for a final touch, I will be taking a Bobbi Brown lip gloss in clear, and I'm just going to put that on the center of my lips. Give it a little shine to make your lips look sexy and plump. <laughs> well, here's the final look, guys. I hope you liked it, and I love you. Please come back next time. Bye!